Hello again, my little mathematicians. Today we're going to help you get started on worksheet 13-4AB, um, practice and problem solving with area of polygons, or sometimes referred to as composite shapes, because it's multiple shapes put together. Um, I'm not going to do these for you, but I'm just going to give you a few hints. Remember, it's made up of a triangle and um, a rectangle or square, so base times height, two by two plus base times height divided by two. So this base is the same as this, two times the height of one, and you're going to divide that by two. Okay, so this plus this. Always draw your shapes off to the side, write out your formula, plug in your numbers. These ones look a little bit more confusing. This is a rectangle and this is just a parallelogram. Pretty straightforward for this one, four times two for that area. But for this one, okay, this little, Dash line right here indicates that this is the perpendicular height, which connects to your base. Well, this is the same as this, which is the same as this. So four, four, this is also four. So four times one will give you the area of this top parallelogram. You can go ahead and apply that to that problem. And then these are pretty straightforward. The ones that are a little bit confusing is seven and eight. And remember, I'm gonna show my work on here, but you always show your work on a separate sheet of paper. Okay. It says this is Nevada, and you want to find about how many square miles does it cover. Okay, so it's not precise. I know that on your paper, like there's this little cutout part, but if I were to extend this, this looks like a triangle, right? And this triangle has a height of 305 and a base of 320, because this is the same as this. So here is your triangle, 320 by 305, and base times height divided by two. You're gonna plug those numbers in and solve. And then your top rectangle, that's pretty easy, 320 by 190, okay? And you're gonna do base times height. Go ahead and plug in your numbers, add them together. That'll give you the about how many square miles that Nevada covers, okay? For this one, number eight, um, it's actually made up of three shapes because this one like comes down I'd say you have this side rectangle, that's easy to see, okay? And this is 40 by 160. And then you have this rectangle right here, which this is easy, this is 280, but this part's a little bit trickier, okay? Because again, I'm just finding the area of this rectangle right here. I knew the base was 280, but my height, it tells me this whole side is 240, but it does tell me from here to here is 70. So 70 plus what equals 240? Go ahead and plug that into your calculator. 240 minus 70 is what? Okay, type that in. And you get 170. Okay, so this rectangle is 280 by 170. Then you have this bottom. What shape does that look like to you? Triangle, right? Okay, so I have this bottom triangle. Well, it told me that the height is 70 and the base, oh, it did tell me it's 280. Okay, so base times height, base times height, and then for your triangle, um, you're going to do base times height divided by two. Okay, go ahead and add all those together and that will give you the total area of that composite shape. And yes, I know it's not precise, but it says about, okay? And always, always, always show your work on a separate sheet of paper. Once you're done, okay, um, if you wanted to pause the video, your answers should be that, okay? And you can pause the video right here to check your work. Um, if you copy it, not helping anyone because you're not gonna get the answers on the test, right? All right, go ahead and pause the video here, go ahead and try it, and then you can check your answers. Good luck.